It's happening. Signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold, revealing we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church. Thanks to all of you who continue to support this Signs of the Last Days ministry with your prayers and offerings. We need your support so we can continue together sharing the signs of Jesus's nearing appearance. Here at our location for Signs of the Last Days Ministry on the Gulf Coast in the state of Texas, we have just went through a Texas Stormageddon where people have literally been battling for their lives in this historic storm. An unprecedented storm made an assault on the U.S., <clears throat> with 150 million people reported under a winter storm warning in 25 states that stretched over 2,000 miles from the southern Texas coast up to northern Maine. It has left millions without power and has been wreaking travel havoc across a wide swath of the central and southern USA because of heavy snow and ice as bitter record-smashing cold accompanied the storm across the central U.S. as daily record low temperatures were broken, where this unusual, rare, and extreme winter storm slid all the way down through Texas to the U.S. southern coastline at Gulf of Mexico. It took away all of our modern conveniences here where we live and reduced us down to trying to find the basics of warmth, water, and food to survive. Down here, we have been with no power and heat for several days and in extreme low temperatures as people have been literally just battling to survive this storm in a Texas Stormageddon. And some unfortunately, did not survive. After we had completed the Watch and Pray live stream in the studio this last Sunday evening, the storm then hit here in the early morning hours of this Monday before daylight. We're in the blackness of the night as the wind howled around our house and the wintry mix of sleet and snow began to pelt our roof and windows with intensity. As we also listened to the loud crack of thunder snow for the first time here in our living memory on the Gulf Coast near Galveston, Texas. And then after daylight, we arose to see the whiteness of the hard mix of sleet and snow that covered our landscape here. It even covered the beaches at the Gulf of Mexico on Galveston Island. And then we, like millions of other Texans this Monday, began to turn up the heat on our thermostat so we could try and stay warm. But by that extremely cold afternoon on Monday, the power demand was just too much on the independent, standalone Texas power grid and the widespread electric power blackouts in Texas began to happen. With millions of people without power for several days this week and extreme temperatures, the power, the power failure hit us here in the late afternoon on Monday, just when the temperatures really started to plummet down even more. The storm set all kinds of records across Texas with low teen t 
temperatures in some places and single digits in other places along with zero or below wind chill almost everywhere. In the midst of this horrific and historic storm this week, Texas became colder than Moscow, Russia. At one of the world's busiest airports in Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas, the Dallas-Fort Worth International, the temperature hovered around minus 15 degrees Celsius or about 4 degrees Fahrenheit, which was colder than Moscow, Russia was on that day. Just to give you some context of how extremely cold it had become here. And for our area, down here on the Gulf Coast, that has temperatures which go up to the 60s and even up to 70 in winter's February here for us. This extreme cold that hit us was an apocalyptic shock. And it was also a shock to the power grid as well because the power did not come back on. And then slowly through Monday night, and into Tuesday, the next day, the temperature inside of people's homes worked its way down toward freezing inside their houses. We're one of the, we were one of the fortunate ones here since we also had natural gas in our home. Yet we can honestly say that even with both the gas fireplace and the gas stove going strong, and with us in multiple layers of clothing, and under several thick blankets. It was still very stressful from the extreme cold that we had. And then for others, they were not as fortunate. It was reported in the Galveston County Daily News that the coroner was struggling to find room for the bodies, with them reporting that there were at least 20 bodies of people who had died over the two days during the brutally cold weather and lingering power outage. And they were expecting still yet about that many more. As they ordered, as the coroner ordered a storage truck to come into the morgue to help store the overflow number of bodies. Also animals, they suffered and died as well. Like at a San Antonio, wildlife sanctuary that lost power as temperatures reached single digit levels there. And even though they mobilized generators, space heaters, propane tanks, and blankets in an effort to save the animals, they said they still lost lots of animals and birds. We are just not used to such a historic nightmare storm as this happening here. And that's also why the power grid failed, with people and animals literally freezing to death. In this unprecedented storm, all 254 Texas counties were placed under, under winter weather advisory warning, which is very rare. Typically, if a cold front hits one area of Texas, <clears throat> then power production elsewhere in the state covers for that. But that wasn't possible this time around under this massive storm that covered the entire state as, <clears throat> as the Texas power grid, which is an island unto itself. It had no place to turn that wasn't already under max load. So then that's when came the power blackouts. And then with the icy roads, it meant that manpower and equipment couldn't reach areas to make service to the equipment. The bottom line is that Texas had never expected a winter storm like this to ever happen that covered the entire state at once. But that's what happened. And in these prophetic times, the unexpected and the never before seen are happening. Never before seen, never expected, such as this extreme weather, they are continuing 
to happen, unprecedented events, and the biblical prophecies foretell that there will be extreme weather in the last days as the earth's weather will continue to intensify, signaling that we are in the last days nearing the end of this age. In Luke chapter 21, a prophecy of the Lord Jesus says that the sea and the waves, which they help to create, regulate, and carry earth's weather, the prophecy says that they will be roaring in the last days, describing how that the sea and the waves will intensify as greater extremes will come in earth's weather. In Revelation chapter 8 and chapter 11, they describe how that there will be biblical storms that will come with great thundering and lightnings on the biblical level that will also include in these storms ice in the form of hail, which amazingly, the prophecy says, will even be mixed with fire and with blood. That's how intense, that's how intense the extreme weather will become. Biblical storms with great thunderings and lightnings and with intense hail. And the weather will become so intense that there will be things that will happen like we've never before seen to where with the hail there will be fire that's also falling with blood mixed with it. That's how intense the weather will become. And Revelation chapter 16 describes a biblical storm that will come that gets so intense that it will have ice in the form of a great hail which will fall upon humankind with each hailstone so big that it weighs about a hundred pounds that will fall upon humankind and upon their cities. That's how extreme the weather is going to get on the earth according to the biblical prophecies. And here in Texas this week, thankfully, our power here came back on Wednesday evening. And, but there was still millions that their power did not begin to come back on until today, on Thursday. And there's still tens of thousands that don't have power at this time. That's, so the situations went like four days for them. But thankfully for us, our power came back on yesterday, Wednesday evening. And today on Thursday, thankfully, our home is warm again. But from the unusual severe stress of this <clears throat> extreme cold that we just went through, honestly, our bodies still feel stressed and a bit sick from it all. And our hearts are sick over those who suffered and those who died in our county, Galveston County, here during this storm. The Texas governor is promising an investigation of what happened here and is saying that there will be actions taken to prepare for severe weather events in the future. And they're coming just like the Bible prophecies Foretold. These, these are signs. What happened this week? This Texas storm again. It's a sign of these biblical prophecies that describe how intense Earth's weather will become with these intensification of weather events, extreme weather events in the Earth. The prophecies foretell is coming. The governor is saying that we're going to take action to understand what happened here and to prepare for weather events in the future. But I tell you that these events and conditions happening now are also warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies at the end of this age, revealing that it's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of Jesus Christ for his church while there's still time at the end of this age of grace. 
because after that door is closed, then there's nothing that's coming here on this earth but the tribulation, the severe tribulation that's foretold in the Revelation prophecies. It's time to get ready now for the nearing appearance of the Lord Jesus by being born again spiritually into the kingdom of God as Jesus said we must in John chapter 3 and his apostles who were only authorized by the Lord Jesus in Matthew 16. They described how to be born again in Acts chapter 2. And as we are watching the signs of the last days prophecies that are happening, let us keep looking up for all these signs mean that our redemption as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, our redemption is drawing near as we're not looking for the end, but for the beginning of our wonderful new future with the Lord Jesus Christ in the kingdom of heaven. The signs are happening and we are watching. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and that you watch out for the notification, click the bell to get all notifications for our live stream events because we're going to be sharing it that Jesus is coming soon. God bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Sun. Yeah.